There's a lot to learn from bailing and making the decision to bail on a big alpine climb or a ski descent. It's hard. Check this out. Oh, I don't like that. I do not like the pinwheeling. It's really spooky. I feel like it might be too warm. It might be a bit too warm, guys. It might be a bit too warm. It might be a bit too fucking warm. It's too warm. Oh fuck, that's fucking spooky. Not like that. It's too going eight. Fuck that. In his thread, Ben talks about how this was a six hour approach. And it was a tough, uh, tough call to make. Uh, he mentions pinwheeling. Pinwheeling is when uh, essentially you have a snowball going down the slope and getting bigger and bigger. It's an indicator of uh, potentially uh, a wet slide. You can see in the background in the video, uh, there's some wet slide activity, what looks like wet slide activity further up the canyon. You can't quite see the pinwheeling, um, but it's not uncommon, particularly in seasonal transitions to have um, some pretty big avalanches on steeper terrain uh, and maybe less so on lower angle terrain. Of course, lower angle terrain is always safer, um, but this was a good decision and you can see him struggling with it and that's okay. You're gonna struggle with the decision when it's time to turn around. Um, and it's good to look at this and see uh, a mature mountain expert make this decision and understand that the mountain's still gonna be there. But if you get washed off the mountain, you might not be. <laughs>